Are you looking to set up your Google My Business listing the right way the first time? Let's jump right in. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. What's up guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to click subscribe so you never miss a video you need to succeed online. And you're definitely gonna wanna access my brand new free mini course, How to Guarantee Website ROI. Just go to thedeependdesign.com slash ROI. All right, let's jump right into today's topic. And that is Google My Business Listings, how to get it set up properly the first time. So absolutely every business that operates online or offline should have a Google My Business listing. Uh, if you're local, you know, if people are searching for your category, you definitely want to be able to show up in those map listings. Or if you're a business that requires, you know, word of mouth to operate, people are talking about you, guess what they're going to do before they call you? They're going to look you up on Google. And when you have a Google My Business listing, you're able to show up very prominently in the right sidebar, showing reviews, ratings, uh, little snippets about the business, which makes you look extremely credible. So it's very important we get it set up. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do it. Let's jump over to the computer. Okay, so the absolute first step you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to Google and you're gonna to wanna to just verify that your listing doesn't already exist. So you may not have set it up yourself, but Google does re will rely a lot on user-generated information. So if you had a customer who was to put you in at some point trying to leave a review, uh, it could be there. So just make sure it's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, uh, do a listing for one of my clients at the moment. So I'm just typing in character mapping Portland. Um, and if you don't see that big side block over here listing the business, then that means it doesn't exist. And if it does, uh, there will be a little uh, link there that says claim this listing. So that's what you would click to go forward. But here in this case, it's a brand new one. So we can go over to Google My Business. So here we are at google.com slash business. Uh, and this is where you're going to get set up. So one thing to say, you do need a Google account in order to move forward here. Uh, but for this video, I'm assuming you have it. So let's go ahead and just get signed in. Okay, so the first thing it's going to ask you for is the business name and then click next. And now you're just going to put in the street address. Okay, so I filled out the address information and now it's going to ask you one question here. I deliver goods and services to my customers. So they want you to check this box only if you don't have people come to your location. So let's say you're a plumber or an electrician and you travel out. Um, this way, it's not going to publish your address so that confused customers don't come to your house or to your place of business where they're not actually going to find what they're looking for. However, if you are a storefront or a business where people do come to you, leave this unchecked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it unchecked for now and just click next. Okay, so now you're going to want to define the business category and it's very important that you get it right. So in this case, um, and if you start typing something in, it's going to kind of fill in for you. So my first impulse here would be to say acting class, uh, but that doesn't pop up. So um, maybe drama, drama school. Okay, so that works. Um, basically, it has to be something that already is sell that they already have defined. So um, you may have to do a little extra homework to figure out what those categories are that most closely matches up with what you do. So I'm gonna, I've got that going. So I'm going to click next, and here you're going to put in your phone number. So let's go ahead and put in a local number for Portland. I'm just kind of doing fake information here, and then you're going to want to put in your website address, and then click next. Okay, so now it's just gonna prompt you to finish, so click that to get finished up. Okay, so one last step here. Uh, what they're gonna to wanna to do to verify your listing is they're actually going to send you a postcard by mail. So just fill in your contact name here, and then click mail, and they will mail it out to you. So once you get that postcard in the mail, you're just gonna follow the simple instructions inside of it. There's gonna be a little verification code. Just go to the, the right address, type in the code, and you're verified. So this is all what I would consider to be kind of the bare minimum setup of a Google My Business listing. 
but who cares about bare minimum, right? We want to do what's going to take you from here to here. So uh, we've got some, I've got a few extra things that I want to tell you how to do. Um, some are considered best practice. Some are brand new for 2018, which means your competition is probably not doing these things, meaning you can really rise above. So let's take a look at what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, so you're gonna log back into Google My Business, and here is the dashboard, just kind of the home screen for it. This is another client of mine, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of go through. I'm gonna show you the highlights of everything that I want you to pay attention to in here. So first things first, I want you to go to Info, and we're gonna go through and make sure everything is filled in here. So obviously the address, and one thing to note here that's very important with your address, whatever, you input into your Google My Business listing, that is what they call the NAP, name, address, phone number. Any mention of your company online, and we're gonna talk about this for sure in the next video, you're gonna need the name of the business, the address, and the phone number to be exactly the same in as many of those places as possible. So, for instance, uh, we've spelled out Suite 170. So what you wouldn't want to do is on a citation put STE 170 and here we've used Boulevard BLVD as opposed to spelling out Boulevard. Uh, it's very important that you keep it as close as possible. Google really rewards that and they'll definitely penalize you in the map listings if these are not consistent. So definitely copy it right from here. And next we're going to go to hours. So we don't have hours added yet. So we're going to go ahead and click that and just click on every day you're open, let's just say Monday through Friday here, and then you're gonna to wanna to fill in uh, the open and close times. Okay, so open nine to six every day, and you're just gonna click apply. Next, make sure your phone number and your website URL are listed here. And one more really important thing are photos. So I want you to go and click add photos, and you're just gonna add as many photos as possible. There's, di there's different categories. Uh, you've got video. Videos are really powerful too. I would love it if you would add one or two videos. You can add interior photos, exterior photos, uh, at work, team members, identity. So that would be like your logo and branding elements. So as many of these as you can add as possible is going to help you. And in the next video, I'm going to show you one, uh, one way to make these even more powerful by geotagging the photos which sounds very technical and complicated. I promise it's not, and we will get into that more in the next video. So next, I want you to travel over to the Messaging tab. And this is really interesting because basically what this allows people to do is when they find you on that, uh, that right sidebar, they're able to click a button and message directly with you. This is very powerful, especially when you consider over half of the people searching are doing it from a mobile device. What you should do is enter in your uh, your mobile number so that it just it'll text you directly to your mobile number, allowing you to get back to them right away in real time. And next, go up to posts. And remember how I said some of these things are brand new for 2018? This is one of them. So what it allows you to do is basically add new, new little posts to your sidebar listing. So, um, and once you click in here to write your post, it, there's different categories. So what's new? That could be basically a news story, an event. Let's say you're having a wine tasting on Wednesday night and you're inviting the, inviting the community over. Uh, you would do it there and just click in the event details, title, start date, start time, end date, end time. Uh, and then if you have an offer, so let's say you're a pizza place and you're having a, a any pizza for $9 special, you'd put it here and you want to use a nice image. Uh, those images are ideally they would be 590 by 445 pixels. Obviously just be as complete as you can with the listing. And one thing to remember is these only are active for seven days. So it's not like a set it and forget it thing. Uh, if, you want have, if you want something that's kind of more evergreen, you're gonna have to set a reminder and keep inputting it every week, which is a hassle I know, but uh, could definitely be good for some extra business. Okay, so that is what's involved in setting up your Google My Business listing the right way. But if you're really trying to rank in those map listings, there is more to the story that I'm gonna cover in my very next video, which is gonna teach you how to rank in the Google Map 3-pack. 
So if you're not subscribed yet, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you're notified when that video comes out. Or if you're watching this in the future and the video's already out, uh, just click above and it'll take you right to that video. And remember, I am just a comment away, so if you have any questions or anything to add to this, please comment below. And as always, if there's anything I can help you with, getting you set up with the customer, client, or lead generation website that your business needs, just go to thedeependdesign.com slash get started. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in the next video.